Alright, for today's tutorial, we will need a pair of scissors, knives, pen knife for the extracto knife. Um, I use ballpoint pen, stapler, the blueprint that will be available for download in the description box, sticky tape or cellophane tape, and then the potato chips bag. I'm not saying you must buy this brand, but we need the foil. Alright, firstly we need to prepare the pen for, in order to put in so we don't need the tip of the we don't need the ink anymore so just remove that and then a personal modification I made was to uh, remove this the tip and then just put glue over the both ends so the ink will not drop out and then after that we'll put the paper into this the slot over here and this is the this ink will act as something to push the paper and then even if we use force on the stylus it will not uh, retract in so that is a personal modification I made from the original tutorial alright uh, next you will need a piece of paper I got myself a drawing paper because it's uh, thicker and then uh, most likely I think it it will hold on better to the stylus that we're gonna make it will make a better tip so uh, just measure up against the tip of the pen and just make sure it's a bit longer than the tip okay and then just roll it so you need to roll it so that it's gonna go here so you just go into the tip of the pen Alright, so after rolling the paper, what you will get is something like this. Just, it's like a paper tip. And then, I, as I mentioned, I removed the pen tip. And then I put place white glue over the both ends. So it would just be a stick, but in the correct size. So next, we're going to just assemble everything. So I'm going to put back the spring just to... Okay make sure that our paper can put go into the pen nicely so, it's a little thick it's always go bigger and then trim it to size so as you can see, we got a little tip over there. Okay. So now it's just fitting the pen. All right. So it's retractable, but we'll not be using that. So now you have a very nice tip of the stylus that you can use. All right. Uh, next, we'll prepare the part for the um, static foil, and then of course we got the blueprint. So uh, this part we need to get a size that we need from the foil. So we just cut. I always believe in cutting is what you need first so if you make any mistakes you can always cut another portion now so we have we can make a lot of pens from this one so uh, what I do is because you can't draw on the foil easily so I have the paper template and then you get the stapler just uh, Play it on both sides just to hold it in place. Of course, if you want to use a paper clip or anything, just you can use that if you don't want to damage the foil. So just cut along the your template.
Okay, so we have the foil in the shape of the blueprint. So what we're gonna do next is, if you notice the dotted incisions mark here, the cut mark here. So we're gonna cut along this one. So and that is when your knife will come in handy. And you can use a ruler. Just use the paper as a uh, tracing and just cut over it into your foil. Okay, so just Alright, so you get this U shape. See? Okay, so now you got your foil with um with it being cut very nicely over here with this U shape. Okay. So you can actually give it a try. Just put my tab and then if you fold it just like this it resembles the pen and then you can you can use it immediately just like this so I'm not using so as you can see it's already working quite fine just with the materials and your finger so next is um, we're gonna put the assemble the foil onto the pen alright so it's time for the assembly and um, you got your foil and then you got the cut to make it like a U shape here at the end and then you got your pen with the paper tip that you just made okay so you need to put the pen over here I don't know if you can see but the tip is at the is within the U so that means the tip will be touching the screen and not on the back like this because I made this mistake the first time when I was doing that so the pen is within the U it's inside the U, the pen tip is inside the U so you got to uh, make sure it's just touching together with the the level of this foil okay and then you got to Seal it nicely. Okay. The tricky part here is that you need to expose the foil to your fingers static. So don't go and wrap the entire foil with cellophane tape because you want it to be sturdy so just wrap it enough okay and then just stick one more here here that later you can make adjustments but I'm just making a quick one so next is we need to join the tip we need to stick the tip here to ensure that the slimmest end of the foil is actually stuck to the tip so for that one we prepare a cellophane tape and trim it real small 
slim enough for the tip. So for this tutorial I'm just doing a quick one so if you have more time you can do a better one and then just wrap the entire thing you you can wrap the entire tip with cellophane tip it's okay Okay, so there here you go. We have the stylus that you have done. So just check it out. And let's go to my sketching software. Of course, this this is made quite roughly, so the quality isn't isn't as good as the one I made for myself. So if you take time to do, it should be it should be quite good. Okay, let's try with another app. Great. I have a uh, screen. I have a uh, matte screen protector on, and then um, even so, I, it, it detects really good. There's no lag, nothing. So uh, you can, in the original tutorial, you can add cellophane tape at the end, which is what I did for my first pen, and then it has cellophane tape on the base and on the top to prevent dust. So, uh, this good thing is for folks who don't have the screen protector, and the other good thing is that the this base, this so-called this widened tip part, becomes hardened, so it, it's easier for you to draw. So I hope you enjoy this small tribute tutorial I did, just for the people who couldn't really get um, what the original tutorial was saying and I hope everybody can benefit from this tutorial so that's it you if there any questions or any part that I didn't cover just post them in the comments box below and then I hope I can I can just answer them quickly thank you